The ground computers will hand over to the Ares 1X onboard flight computers at T minus 80 seconds. Standing by to pick up the count in 15 seconds. On my mark, time will be T minus four minutes and counting. Three, two, one, mark. T minus four minutes and counting. 11.30 is our launch time. T minus three minutes and 30 seconds, FTS SNA armed. T minus three minutes and 25 seconds, SRM ignition SNA armed. That's the rain safety systems being armed. The vehicle will go to internal power at T minus one minute, 59 seconds. T minus three minutes, fan power secured. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. T minus two minutes, vehicle going to internal power. Aries 1X now on its own power. Applying power to the DFI, the Development Flight Instrumentation. Flight data recorders are activated. Launch is enabled for the flight control system. T minus 90 seconds. And the handoff of the ground computers to the Ares 1X flight computer has occurred. T minus one minute. Sound suppression water system now armed. The solid rocket booster joint heaters are being turned off. And we're now go inertial. The navigation system is activated. Auxiliary power units have started. Solid rocket motor nozzle gimbal checks are underway. Ignition system is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design.
Altitude now two miles. Taper pressure now tapering off as designed. The vehicle has aligned itself with the planned trajectory. We passed Mach 1 and we're now passing Max Q. We have our Max Q system ID maneuver PTI engaged. Solid motor chamber pressure picking up again. T plus 62 seconds. Now passing Mach 2. The vehicle now 10 miles altitude, downrange distance 8 miles, and a velocity of 1540 miles per hour. Plus 80 seconds, we've started our supersonic large amplitude ID maneuver PTI. We see the response. And we started the last PTI maneuver, structural mode ID, and we passed T plus 105 seconds. Vehicle's now traveling Mach 4. 20 miles out. And we'll have a burnout orbit uh, parameter in just a second. These numbers were calculated right at burnout, the height of apogee, 21.92 nautical miles. And again, that's not peak altitude because the vehicle was still drifting up, but that is at burnout. Coming up on T plus 190 seconds. After vehicle separation, we have no guidance tele telemetry return. We're still looking at a good telemetry signal. And we can confirm the aeroshell 